Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm my name is Yeonjun, and I'm a first year PhD student from the KAIST. And in this presentation, uh, I will talk about our paper, self-guided robust graph structure refinement. For the preliminary knowledge, uh, the adversary attacks on graphs indicate the imperceptible perturbation both on the graph structure and node features, and it is well known that, and widely known that the uh, deep graph learning methods are vulnerable to the adversarial attacks. So to mitigate such data issue, the graph structure refinement methods have been proposed to refine a given graph structure uh, by minimizing the impact of the adversarial edges. To more specific, to be more specific, uh, the feature-based GSR method encourages the nodes with similar features to be connected to refine the given graph structure. However, in this work, we discovered that the performance of the feature-based method uh, drops significantly when the node features are attacked in this figure. Yeah. So it means that they are built on the assumption that the node features should not be attacked or noisy. To mitigate such uh, limitations of the feature-based GSR method, the multi-phased GSR method uh, exploits the higher the structural similarity in order, in, in addition to the feature similarity, to reduce the to reduce the uh, uh, reliance on the feature information. However, we also discover that the performance of the multi-phased method uh, drops significantly as the degree of structural attack, which is the, the number of structural attack increases. So it means that uh, they also are built on the assumption that the amount of structural attack should be moderate. So however, these two narrow assumptions cannot be always satisfied in real world application and real world scenarios. So their practicality and applicability in real world scenario are highly limited and restricted. So to mitigate such uh, narrow assumption, uh, we propose a novel approach utilizing a clean proxy structure uh, in a, in, instead of the attacked graph structure in addition to the node feature information so that we are free from the previous two narrow assumptions. Then the next challenge is the where to get the clean proxy structure and how to get the clean proxy structure. To this end, we find the clean subgraph in the given graph itself, like this. So we named our approach as a self-guided robust graph structure refinement, SGGSR. So to implement SGGSR, for the GSR module, we use the G Super GAT model as the backbone GSR module. Uh, specifically, Super GAT model is basically GAT. Uh, same as the GAT, but different in that the uh, attention weights are estimated by a uh, link predictor. So we should optimize the train the super GAT model by optimizing the node classification nodes and uh, link prediction nodes jointly. So we want the link predictor uh, to assign the low weights to the adversary edges and high weights to the clean edges. So to extract the clean software from the given graph itself, first we find the edges with both high structure proximity and feature similarity, uh, which is done by done offline. And then we extract that edges, uh, and then we learn GSR module to minimize the following training loss uh, with the uh, node classification loss and link prediction loss, uh, with link prediction loss with the uh, uh, extracted software as a positive link. Although we extract the clean software, we observe two uh, technical challenges. Uh, to extract the clean software, we are supposed to remo remove numerous clean edges as well as the adversary edges. Uh, in this figure, we can see that the small software, which means that uh, very small edges, a very small number of edges extracted. So small software ha almost has clean edges with the high clean rate, but the removed edges also contain many clean edges with the highest uh, clean rate. Uh, so it means that the limited structure information can hinder the predictive power of GNNs. The red line is the upper bound of the GNN model, and the green line is the performance of the subgraph uh, 
uh, using used by the GSR module. And second challenge is about the node degree distribution of the clean subgraph. Uh, we observed that uh, in this figure, we observed that the uh, node degree distribution of the clean subgraph gets more imbalanced than the original graph, which means that the high degree nodes would dominate the edge set of the subgraph. And then it can hinder the generalization ability of GSR module to low degree nodes. So we call we call this as the imbalanced node de de degree distribution. So to mitigate first challenge, which is the uh, loss of structure information, we propose a novel graph augmentation method. The key idea of this method is to supplement the structure information by adding edges important for predicting node labels to the subgraph. For the importance, importance measures, we consider class homophily and feature smoothness and structural proximity. Uh, class homophily is measured by the JSD value between the class prediction probability of two nodes, and feature smoothness is measured by the feature smooth features similarity, and structural proximity is measured by the node embedding similarity. So to get the augmented graph, we combine the subgraph and edges with high class homophily and high class feature smoothness and high structural proximity. Uh, and toward more uh, of good scalability, we also propose an efficient solution. Uh, instead of computing the JST value between all node pairs, uh, we construct the KNN graph of based on the feature smoothness and structural proximity. And then we compute the JST value of the edges in each uh, KNN graph instead of the all node pairs, which uh, alleviate the uh, complexity issue. And to mitigate the second challenge, which is the uh, imbalanced node distribution, so we propose a group training strategy. The key idea is to balance the node degree distribution by splitting the edge sets into multiple subgraph, subgroups, uh, which is the LA group, HL group, HH group. LA group means the, the edges between two low degree nodes, and HL means the uh, edge between one low degree node and one high degree node, and HH is simil uh, similarly defined. So in this figure, the y-axis means the imbalance ratio of each group. Uh, in this figure, we can observe that the splitted groups get more balanced than before. So based on this observation, we design a balanced link prediction nodes like this. Uh, which which means that the uh, low degree nodes by by doing so the low degree nodes are far more involved in the computing these loss than before, uh, which leads to more emphasis on low degree nodes during the training. Uh, to summarize, uh, first we extract the clean subgraph from the uh, attacked graph, and two uh, we observe two technical challenges and to mitigate two challenges, we propose graph augmentation and group training strategy. So, and for inference, uh, the learned link predictor, uh, uh, when, we given the, when we are given the attacked graph, the learned link predictor assigns low weights to adversary edges. And for the experiments, uh, we consider five existing benchmark data set and we also propose a new benchmark data set. For the existing benchmark data set, we artificially generate the attack graph uh, using the meta attack and net attack. And for the feature attack, we inject the random Gaussian noise to the node feature. And uh, do, for the new benchmark, we simulate the real world fraudsters attacks on e-commerce systems. And first, the node classification performance on the artificially generated adversary attack. Uh, the proposed SGGSR consistently outperforms the baselines under both under the structure attack and structure feature attack. And for the node classification performance under the e-commerce fraud, which is newly introduced, uh, newly introduced uh, benchmark data set, we generate product product graph from Amazon product review data, where node feature is product review text and graph structure is core review relationships by the same user and node labels means the product categories. So the scenario we imitate that we imitate is that fraudsters randomly write fake reviews 
uh, fake product reviews on the numerous products, then numerous malicious core review edges are added to the graph structure, which means the graph structure attack. And node, noise random review are injected to the node feature, which leads to the node, noise node feature and or uh, node feature attack. So in this, in this experiment, SGGS also works well under attacks that are plausible in the real world systems. So the contribution of this, uh, but, uh, contribution of this experiment. Uh, this is the first work proposing the new graph data set that closely imitate the real world e-commerce system containing malicious fraudsters. And we also conducted the uh, analysis on the attention weights uh, compared to the super GAT. We observed that the, the larger attention weights for the clean edges than super GAT and smaller attention weights for the adversary edges than super GAT. And we also uh, conduct the analysis on community structure reconstruction. It is well known that the adversarial attacks uh, increase the uh, interclass or intercommunity uh, edges. So uh, after after we find the structure uh, attack graph by SGGSR, uh, we uh, SGGSR successfully removed the interclass intercommunity edges. Yeah. And this is the ablation study. In ablation study, uh, the subgraph extraction module is very helpful for defending adversarial attacks. And graph augmentation method supplements the loss of structure information successfully. And group training strategy improves the generalization ability of low degree nodes. So for the conclusion, we have discovered the narrow, narrow assumptions of the existing GSR method. And so we propose SGGSR module, which refines the text graph structure in a self-guided manner. And we propose a graph augmentation and group training in order to address the two technical challenges. And we verify the effectiveness of SGGSR through uh, extensive experiments, such as the uh, newly introduced graph dataset. And thank you for listening. And